Today on Beer Geek Nation, guys, probably no surprise because you can see the bottle right here to my right, the one, the only, the 2014 batch of Bell's Hop Slam. Coming in at 10% alcohol by volume. It's an Imperial IPA. I'm sure you guys have heard of it. Now here's the thing, the 2000, this was one of my favorite beers. This is really one of the first beers that just opened my eyes to really big hoppy beers. The 2013 batch I thought was terrible. You can actually check out my review right here. It was super dry, chalky, very little hop flavor. There was something wrong with it and a lot of people agreed with me and I've had it, I had it on draft, I had it in bottles and there was just something not right about it. So I'm really hoping that you know they fixed whatever problem that was. I don't know if it was the hops or their production issue or whatever. But let me get the 2014 bottle into a glass, which you guys know it smells tasty. Give me the final verdict on Bell's Hop Slam. All right, guys, see the aroma on the Hop Slam. Ah, there it is. Big tropical fruits, big, big orange, orange juice, orange peel, lots of peach, lots of tangerine, honey sweetness. This beer is brewed with honey, so you're definitely getting that on the nose. Sweet bready malt, a little bit of a dankness, a little bit of an alcohol kick. Yeah, just a really, really big smelling double IPA. All right, guys, so the taste on the 2014 Hop Slam. Let's go. Cheers. Oh, yeah. Big, huge difference over last year's batch. Right at the front of the tongue, immediately hit with a big hop of intense bitterness peach, lots of tangerine again on the front of the tongue, middle of the mouth, this beer just explodes into this hop, you know, floral bomb. Lots of tropical fruits. This is a very tropical forward IPA. Lots of honey sweetness in there. Pineapple, peach, again, lots of sweet orange juice, orange peel, a little bit of dankness to it. Pretty sweet in the aftertaste, but there's definitely a dry, bitter kind of component to it. In the aftertaste, you get a little bit of honey sweetness, lots more of that mango kind of tropical juice vibe going on there. You know, at 10%, you taste the alcohol a little bit, but it's not overwhelming, and it actually helps to clean the palate. This beer actually is very, very bitter, and I think that alcohol helps to kind of cut some of that and kind of enhance more of the tropical flavors, but definitely night and day compared to last year's batch, at least the version, at least the bottles and draft that I had last year. So awesome stuff. All right, guys, so the final verdict on the 2014 Bell's Hop Slam, 10% available now. Get it if you can. Guys, the good news is this beer is definitely better than the 2013 batch, and it's going to get an A from me. Again, this is one of those beers used to be a lot easier to get around me. Um, three or four years ago when I started Beer Geek Nation, this beer would come out and two weeks later I'd still be able to go to, into my beer distributor and pick up a case of this. Not so much anymore. It sells out in like half an hour everywhere. So I think the big question is, is it worth the hype? Yes, yes and no. I think you, this is a beer that you definitely should try. It's a world-class double IPA, but with that said, I think double IPAs have gotten to such a level by so many breweries that they're all competing on this very similar playing field where they're just as good, if not better, than Bell's Hop Slam. And that's a good thing for consumers because it uh, gives you more options as far as getting a double IPA, if that's your big thing. But yes and no, I think this is definitely a beer that you should try, so it's worth the hype to at least try it and get it and say you had it. Is it worth trading away your entire cellar floor? I don't think so. There are definitely better options. I think the Stone and Joy Buy uh, series is actually just as good as Hop Slam. Um, so with that said, Bell's Hop Slam, definitely check it out if you've never had it. Getting an A for me. And remember, folks, life's too short. Drink amazing beers. Cheers.